The Big Ten is a really loaded conference. It's um, a tough night every night when you lace them up and, and play anybody. And certainly coming here to Maryland um, is another example of that. You know, they're a very, very, very talented team, very balanced team. And, uh, you know, we had a, a load to deal with today, um, especially with their post play. You know, when, when their post players um, play as well as they did, they're really tough to, tough to handle. But, you know, I thought we played with a lot of fight, a lot of effort, and uh, a lot of things that we can learn um, moving forward and can carry with us you know, as we finish out and continue through Big Ten play. Does this game remind you of the first one in which uh, it was pretty tight through three and then they asserted themselves in the fourth quarter? Um, I wouldn't say that uh, necessarily that they asserted themselves the first time we played them. I thought um, the first time we played them, um, we didn't perform as well as we needed to. I thought tonight they asserted themselves a little differently in the fourth quarter. Um, you know, and that. That's what makes them a really talented team um, when they can elevate their game like that as they did in the fourth quarter. Coach, uh, Lauren Ebo had some really great moments out mm -hmm. there. What, did, what are your thoughts on her development this year, especially how she uh, really did well against Shakira for a lot of the years? Yeah, I think um, Lauren Ebo is a kid for us that, you know, um, can be an impact player for us, and we expect that from her. Um, I thought she came in, gave us great energy, gave us great minutes, and. Um, a presence off the bench um, in the post. And if she can continue to keep going like that, it'll certainly um, be a big positive for us moving forward. Coach, I don't remember their bigs being so dominant, especially mm -hmm. kind of at the Spartans when you guys played them earlier in the season. How did you adjust for them when they did kind of get on a roll and get the game plan going? Yeah, we, you know, we, we, we did a couple things. We, you know, tried to go zone for a little bit and, um, you know, that kind of opened up the floor. And Mike Zell hit a couple threes. And, um, you know, it's in some respects, it, when their when they're posts are playing that well, it gets to be pick your poison. And, you know, we've got young posts inside. You know, Stephanie Jones, Brianna Frazier, you know, they're very seasoned post players. Um, and I think it, it makes it easy for Shakira Austin to play alongside players that, like Jones and, and Frazier, who have been here and um, very experienced. Um, you know, on the flip side, you know, we're playing young posts. Um, and, you know, I think that experience kind of showed itself down the stretch of the game. So, you know, we tried to go zone a little bit. We tried to double a little bit. Um, they did a good job of attacking us um, from the high post and with the high post drive. And, um, you know, we were a little slow in our rotations off that high post drive. So, um, you know, I, I, I just thought they, um, had a determination in post, had a determination to put their stamp on the game in, in the fourth quarter. I think all of your big time offers are going to be their ranked teams or Ohio State. What do you feel like you guys need to do to be able to kind of take that big next step? You know, we gotta we gotta finish the games. You know, we gotta finish out the fourth quarter, and, and we gotta find a find a way to um, execute better um, on both ends of the floor down the stretch, but. Um, you're right, we're, you know, we're right there. We've been in every game, um, been competitive, certainly in every game, in, in my opinion, had an opportunity to win every game. Um, but we've got to find a way to finish the games out. And I think it comes down um, you know, to, to our ability to really take it to another level with our execution in the fourth quarter. First quarter obviously was a struggle offensively mm -hmm. for you guys, but the second quarter was a complete offensive explosion. I think mm -hmm. 27 points. What, what adjustments did you make there? Um, well, I thought, you know, one thing, you know, tonight Paige was on the floor a little bit more in that second quarter. Um, but I thought that we had, um, we played with good pace in the second quarter. We did a good job of moving the ball and, and finding the open person. Um, high energy levels on offense. Um, and, and when we do that, we're, we're typically in, in pretty good shape. Coach, you talked about Paige. Was it, I know you have to do what you have to do, but mm -hmm. tough to go into a game like this and not have her for the first, uh, six minutes or so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's tough, but, you know, we bounced back, you know, pretty quickly. Um, I thought we played pretty well, you know, offensively. Um, it was a bit of a struggle early on, but, you know, our defense, you know, kept us close enough that when we, when we got flowing and got rolling in the second quarter offensively, we were fine. So um, I don't think that 
was as big of a, was, I don't think it was much of an impact at all.